Welcome to Jacksonville, Alabama, a hidden gem a few miles from the border of Georgia and home to the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State, where these fans are fired up for this showdown about to play out on Burgess Snowfield. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on a team from Conference USA, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Gamecocks will put total leather to crank us up. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. So the Louisville Cardinals return team didn't help matters out much with that one. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him often. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking downfield, it's shut. It's complete to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You complete some of these hitch throws early. You're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that. And then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. An early test for this defense on third and inches. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. They'll give it to him again. Sweet cut there. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And that's back-to-back -back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. And the Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. Going to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The gift to the back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Throws for the tight end. On target to the left. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Love what they did there, putting the big fella in the slot, letting him use his ability to get downfield and create some space and find the soft spot in the zone. No doubt. You got the big fella in the slot, so you get your matchup. You know it's zone coverage. You know you can put it up out there, let him go make a play. That is a recipe for success, finding that matchup and exploiting it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, you love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up, David. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. And a nice job by the offense picking up the blitz, understanding that extra guy was coming, and creating just a little bit of a hole for that running back to slither through and get some positive yards. Ninth play of the opening drive coming up, but now they face a third down. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Dumps it off in the flats. And, man, that is not the third down execution you want. Trying to get it to a playmaker so he can make plays. He gets nowhere, actually loses yards, and brings up a fourth down now. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. And the try is no good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. And if they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. The offense lining up for a first down play. On the run, it's Lewis. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. They'll go right back to him. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down, and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, this is a defense that prides themselves on stopping the run, and that is a huge statement on their opponent's opening drive of the game. Third and short, they don't just get a stop. They get a tackle for loss. That sends a very clear message that they're going to be the more physical side today. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give to the back. Oh, it's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. Offensive players, when they got the ball in their hand, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Shoots it to the left. Really good throw and a better catch to pick up a chunk of yardage. He goes out of bounds after the big play, but there is a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what that one's about. The officials throw the flag, but the offense won't need it. They'll decline that and keep the big play. The inside handoff. They get him stopped at the 26, but boy, that was an attitude run, a pickup of six. 
Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Right back to him on the ground. Tackled, but he has a first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. The Cardinals are flying down the field. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Looking to the big tight end. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Quarterback on the keeper. Really good pickup on second down there. Leaves him with third and two. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It'll be running backs, it'll be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Got some room headed to the goal line. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals! Lining up for the PAT. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown, and the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Complete to the left. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Listen, QBs and wide receivers got to be on the same page. And they, you got to know when to throw that curl route. It's got to be on time right when the wide receiver breaks so the DB can't catch up. Nice job, QB and wide receiver, being on the same page, getting some positive yardage. Looking for a man. It's Turner. He makes the connection. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And that was a nice throw by the QB. When you see that drag route coming across the field, how about putting the ball right on his numbers, not high, not low, where he has to stop his momentum, right on the numbers where he can catch it, keep running, and chew up some yards after the catch. They'll throw it on first down. That's reeled in. It's Spectre. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. This receiver is so dangerous out in space, and it's a nice job by the QB getting him the ball early on the curl route. And you see, once he has it, he's got some wiggle, he's got some shake, makes some defenders miss, and gets up the field. Going up top on first down. Takes his shot. It's complete. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. And backed up, first and goal, this defense fighting to hold the lead and carry it to the locker room. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. 
Man, it's so hard to play defense nowadays. You got a strike zone where you can hit people. You get flagged for targeting. You get flagged for pass interference. That was beautiful. Great job in the end zone, making it a hard window to throw into. And when he caught it, making him feel you. Holds it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. And that's what I love about empty sets and formations on offense is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw into. You saw it right there. Lining up to add another. Blitz the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Got a man. It's Brooks. Gets away from one. Finds some space. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They'll immediately call timeout. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Pressure got to the QB that time. He was trying to find his check down out of the backfield, but the hit forced the incompletion. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, it's Shuck. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. Now it's fourth down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. And the Cardinals will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Jacksonville for an entertaining first half than you? It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. And with that, let's head back to the guys at JSU Stadium. The Cardinals will kick it off to start the second half. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? 
Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys... They're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in. The defense locked and loaded, understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of a game. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yardage. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. He'll do it himself. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. The offense thought they had a good look to run that play into with the QB, but... There's just an example of a defender winning his one-on-one -on -one battle and making a tremendous play. Great effort by that guy. Man, what a finish we could have. Tie game, third quarter here, second and 10. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. Going the other way, and he's got room. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. No. Nothing but green ahead. And he's brought down, but the defender got a face full of stiff arm before he picked up that first down. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. He'll keep it himself. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Tipped ball, put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Looking to throw, it's Turner. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. The Gamecocks will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Cuber. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook, 
to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. And the Gamecocks are threatening in the red zone. Grab near the marker is Spector. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. Hey, QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, you obviously want to get your receivers the football down here in the red zone, but it's tough to throw it to him because the windows are so small. So I like the idea, handing it off to that guy and seeing if he can do something with his speed. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. That's the end of the quarter, and Louisville has the edge. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. He'll pull it on the read. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. And look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? Ball changes hands, and the offense finds themselves backed up inside their own 10. From the gun, running back on the move. Pushes forward for a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the eight. Late in football games, I have a plan. I want to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. Running back searching for a hole. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And I think we're going to see a lot more of this from this offense. Listen, you're backed up on your own end. You got the lead. More importantly, you want to continue to run the clock, get first downs, be the physical team right here. The ground game, I imagine, is going to be a big part of their playbook moving forward. They want that clock to run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play, but what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Can't get him to the ground. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. And this is a pressing time for this defense. They, they've got to understand, they're backed up a little bit. They're going to run the football. They don't want to make a mistake. So I think this is the time I'm a little bit more aggressive. I, I got to get this football back to my offense because I'm trailing. So I look for this defense to get a little bit aggressive. To the air. It's Shuck. Hauls it in. Can anyone catch him? Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Louisville! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play.
on to attempt the try. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And boy, did they finish with a huge play in the passing game, scoring from 85 yards out. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Jacksonville State has it back, and the Gamecocks will go to work. That fourth down gamble didn't pay off on the last drive, and it led to giving up a scoring drive, David. Yeah, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. Everybody wants that, but your defense sometimes has to bail out your decision-making. We decided to go for it. We didn't get it, and the defense, Jesse, didn't come up big and prove me right. Yeah, not complimentary football, no doubt. But look, this offense has been in these situations before. So you got to come back out here, take the field. It's a fresh set of downs, brand new drive. Let's go out and execute, put some points on the board. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Facing a third down and short from the 26. To throw, it's Turner. He looks that one in nicely. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. The Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it again. Catch in the middle, it's Spectre. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. He's back to throw on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him, weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls incomplete. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. He will not pick up the first down, the desperation play, and that one might have sealed their fate. The offense starts with a short field. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now, they got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They're facing a third down. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Fires to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is extended a little further.
They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we'll see what Jacksonville State can get going on O. Grabbed in the middle, it's Spectre. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. And he's just going to spike it. Now on third down for this offense. To the air, it's Turner. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. And it's going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on downs. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. 